What is going on, guys? Welcome to Game On Podcast number 12. I'm joined with Madam Eve. Hey, guys. And I'm Monkey Flop. <laughs> Monkey Flop. Monkey Flop. All right, so starting off, we're going Wait, gonna, you, you got to oh. let them know. We are unable... This week, we do not have Madam Dee Dee. Oh, yeah, that's She true. was unable to be with us tonight, yes. so, you know. But she'll be here next week. Yeah, she'll be here next week. There you go. I was going to get into that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's all good. I thought um, you forgot about her. No, can't forget about <laughs> Madam Dee Dee. Come on. <laughs> all right, so starting off, let's go ahead and get into the question that Mr. Ebderman has for us. <laughs> and that is... If you could buy anything in the world, what would it be? And also, what was the other question again? Favorite website. Your favorite website, yes. Thank you, Madam Eve. Yeah, because I remember things. Yes. Sometimes. Go ahead. Oh, I'm answering first? Yes. All righty, thanks. So, my, for, for the first question, if I could buy anything. In the, he said anything in the world. Okay, so I'll be greedy. I would buy an island, but a safe island where I could build a little house, you know, and, and it'll have an area for me to have my boat to go, sh- you know, back and forth, you know, if I need shipments and stuff of stuff. Sweet. But an island where I can grow a garden, it's big enough to like, for me to live comfortably on. Nice. Wow, you really dream big. So, <laughs> what is your favorite website? My favorite website is um, Monkey Fluff's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. No. I, th- I thought you were going to say monkeyflop.com. Nah. Pfft. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to build a Madam Eve.com. Um, uh, favorite. Okay, I'm not into websites, um, but the one that I, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm guilty of not being on there as much anymore, but the one that I used to go to a lot was when I, you know, when I was playing, um, <laughs> um, Pokemon was I would go constantly to Pokemon.com. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because I would go to see. They have updates and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. That like they sense. would, they would. That's how sometimes I would know when there would be a, a Pokemon that they would gift, mm-hmm. you know, and oh. and then I would, I would, I would text Madame Dee Dee and I would let her know, like, hey, you go get your 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 free Pokemon, yeah, and stuff like that. Um, Makes so, sense. But I I have not been playing the latest Pokemon stuff. I'm sorry, guys. What happened? I got busy with other stuff, you know. Fell I'm an off. adult, though. <laughs> nah, you fell off the Pokemon train. I did. And it just kept going without you. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying that I don't want to play it. It's just I kind of got distracted by other things. Yeah. I'm sorry. So as far as what I would buy... Dang, you freaking killed my answer, man. Eh, 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 You're eh, like, eh, eh, eh. I'm over here thinking small, you know. I'm going to buy an ice cream truck. <laughs> That's actually a good business. <laughs> in LA? Like, you could be selling in the wintertime because it's still sunny out. That's true. That is true. No, but honestly, I was going to say a giraffe. I was, okay. I was going off, I was debating one or the other i was gonna say i would buy a country Uh (laughs) uh-huh then it's my country my rules or an island but then you know a country is too much maintenance that's a big chunk of land you have to run it yeah so that's too much work for me i'd rather just be me myself and then maybe enough room for like my family to go chill with me and close friends yeah but then that's why i said it has to be a good island i would be picky on what island i would buy because i need to make sure that there's enough room for everything so, for my answer, <laughs> my answer, well, I was just going to kid around and say giraffe, but honestly, I was going to say buy, like, a farm. Not really because I want to be a farmer or anything, but because a farm is awesome because it's got so much land, it's so big, and, you know, horses, and 
you can grow your own vegetables and things like that. Vegemables. Yes. Yeah. I would, like, freaking island thing, like, blew my farm out of the Dude, water. I could have a farm. I could go fishing. You see? I, I was could, thinking, like, I could, a, I could do both. I was thinking, like, maybe a 50-acre farm. <laughs> you know? And, or I was thinking of a country, but then I'm like, do I really want to be king of a country? Because there wouldn't be a democracy or anything. Because if I ran a country, it'd be me running the country. (laughs) Free consoles for everyone. Free consoles for everybody. Everybody in my country gets a PlayStation 4. But you can only play PlayStation. Or the Wii. Because the Wii is like a kiddie console. If you you have an Xbox, you go to jail. No, if you... You get get kicked out of the country. Yes. If you have an Xbox, you are banned for life. <laughs> Nintendo and PlayStation. Yeah, Nintendo, PC, um, are the only two that I would allow in my country. <laughs> okay. But PlayStation 4 would have to be mandatory in every household. <laughs> every household. Wow. And then the default Netflix player and Hulu player, um, what else do they have? Crunchyroll player. It would all have to stream through PlayStation. No other streaming devices allowed. Wow. <laughs> You're strict. And then as far as my favorite website is evysraps.com. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's not. Um, hey. But you, you, you might want to go check it out. evysraps.com. <laughs> Again, that's evysraps.com. No, I'm just kidding. My favorite website, of course, is monkeyflop.com. Hello? Uh, Monkeyflop.com. I wish I had some more uh, writers, hint, hint, like, to, you know, participate in All right. the, yeah? Yeah, I'll write the alphabet. <laughs> Are you serious? A, B, C, D, No, 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 no. You said you're going to write the alphabet. So you're going to have to write the al- the PlayStation alphabet. What the heck? No, you just agreed to nah. it. It's live on no. the podcast. I was crossing you're, my fingers. You are going to write the PlayStation alphabet. Well, what's wrong with the PlayStation alphabet? Nothing. You're going to write it and put it on our website. <laughs> well, my website. But you're going to put it on my website. No. Why not? Goodness, I'm shy. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I don't think there is such thing as a Alf- PlayStation alphabet. I was just kidding with you. You got me nervous, man. <laughs> it was just funny because you agreed to writing. So I was like, yes. The alphabet. I, I locked her in. Never. I locked her in. Okay. You, I write on my Twitter. Okay. You, no, what you can do is you can write the alphabet out. Well, you can draw the alphabet out. A. And then you have to get a a, char- a character from PlayStation that starts with an A and draw him next to it. And then B, oh, so you yeah, have Batman. That takes so much work. Okay. You just crushed my dreams. Aww. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got into anything. We're still stuck on that. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, you did say. Yeah, never mind. Scratch what I was going to say. Favorite website, monkeyflop.com. Yeah, I, I, and I'm going to buy a draft and a farm. One thing. He said one thing. No, because it's a farm. So I when I bought when I purchase a farm, it comes with many things. <laughs> the free giraffe. Okay. Yeah, That's with awesome. a giraffe. Just because I want to ride on it. Okay. See me rolling. Okay, anyways, let's get into the next topic. So, let's get into gaming news, actually. Um, Did you hear that the PlayStation Network went down last night? Last night? Yeah, well, recording this, it'll be up tomorrow. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. PlayStation Network went down, and Lizard Squad tweeted out before the uh, PlayStation Network went down that they're actually going to take down the PlayStation Network. And then the PlayStation Network went down. And it was crazy because even Forbes.com wrote about it. And Forbes is like this big uh, website, big company. Um, and they're covering 
Um, so they just did it for fun. The PlayStation outage, you know, the the motives for the re- in, in the reasoning that they do it is beyond me. I have no idea. Um, I it's don't a hobby. even. Yeah, I don't even want to speculate on <laughs> on it to be honest. Yeah, um, do you? But Lizard Squad is uh, the one that took down the PlayStation Network. Right now, I currently checked the status, and the status is back online. They also took down uh, Xbox Live um, a little bit after the PlayStation Four wow. went down. Because the thing is, like, I so smart people. I made a video talking about the PlayStation Network going down. And then, of course, you get all these fanboys, that Xbox fanboys, trying to start a console war in my video and talking about the PlayStation See, Network's down, the PlayStation That's why they're going to be down. banned from your country. Yes, that's why they're going to be banned from my country. Who the hell wants an Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> We're PlayStation here, baby. It's all about PlayStation. But... Console wars started happening in the comment section on that video, and I'm like, "What the heck?" Like, dude, talking about the PlayStation Network, and then all of a sudden the the Xbox Live goes down. I'm like, w- "You were saying what?" Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no more chirping. No like, more oh, chirping. Crickets, like, crick, 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 crick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 You're stupid. Oh, man. So, um, as of right now, the PlayStation Network is back online. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know really quickly, if you haven't seen my video about the PlayStation Network flash sale, there's a flash sale happening from now until May 18th, which is a Monday. And that is going to be a sale. um, And all the games listed in the flash sale are below $5. You got some AAA games on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the Vita. Definitely, if you have time, go check it out. Um, yeah, and then, do you have gaming news? Well, since you're talking about PlayStation. PlayStation. So, PlayStation. <laughs> um, they, I read on there that they're going to come out with, um, um, in the summer, they're going to have a red PS4 remote. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I want to see a pink one. I need to have a pink one. <laughs> that's what I would, like. You know, it's cool if a red one because it's, it's more girly than than the blue one and the black one. You know, it's all good. Yeah. But I want a pink one. Pink and purple. Oh my god, that'll be super cute. <laughs> Man, I would I would take pictures of her. Like, Look how beautiful my remote is. Isn't she pretty? Stuff like that. Can I can I tell you something? Huh. This is Sony's typical cycle. Um, they they always do this with with each console that comes out, with each new item that comes out. Um, they always only give you one at a time. Well, um, the next one. Get this is to you, PlayStation. Up. The next one should be a pink remote <laughs> for Madam E. And if you could put my name on it, that'd be cute. I would love you forever. <laughs> um, well, you can, we can actually get you a custom um, PlayStation 4 controller with your name on it, Madam Eve. Yay! Yay. Or a decal. We can, decals are like $2. All right. Put it on the light bar. We're going to do that. Going to do that. So, and yeah. then, um, did you know that this year hmm. is going to be 20 years that E3 has been doing their thing. Yeah, that's crazy. 20, 20 freaking years, man. It's crazy to it was, imagine. It uh, 1995. What? Yeah. And they've, they've always done it in in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Um, there was just, I think it, I think I read that there was like just two years that they tried it in, like, I think it was Atlanta. You know, oh, really? Or something like that. It was somewhere in the south. And then they kind of like figured, yeah, this ain't working. Let's go back to LA, oh. you know, and then they came back to LA. I think for a bit, they did it somewhere. I think I think it was the airport. Like I guess there's like a uh, mm-hmm. convention area there. And yeah, and they tried that, and then they were like, "Yeah, let's just continue sticking with the convention center." Yeah, you know, and then that's where it's been, right here. Yay, which works out for us. 
See, I didn't know too much history about um, E3. I just know that um, not only myself, but like anybody that's ever played video games, dream is to go to E3 and have that experience. I love E3. Heck yeah. And did you know that Sony's actually hosting a press conference for uh, for PlayStation in the what is it the 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 memorial? What's what's the, the sports arena? Yeah, the sports arena. They're gonna host a press conference there. What? Yeah. We need to go. Yes, I am. I'm trying to get. It. I'm trying to get us in. I'm trying to get tickets for that. They're holding a press conference. They're keeping everything quiet. They're not telling anybody what they're up to. Let's go see good. <laughs> right? <laughs> so easy. No, we don't promote that. What are you talking about? I'm going to be over there and I'm like, I hear the clean. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. Like, oh, yeah. you know, we hear the cater or the catering service. <laughs> we just go with some trays and go inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be empty, but, you know, they just don't open and keep it closed. We'll, we'll have some pan dulce in there. <laughs> 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 yeah, but there there's a lot of people speculating that uh, Sony's up to something, you know, they they're going to they're holding hosting a press conference over there. It's got to be huge. It's got to be uh, something crazy. Um they're probably going to go over what they go through every year, um the main AAA titles that they're that they're going to be releasing on the PlayStation 4 mm-hmm. and they might have some little um, tricks up their sleeves and some extra things that they're going to show off during that time. Um, but I'm pretty excited about that. And I thought you brought up E3, so I just thought, hey, I just saw that Sony's holding a press conference in the sports arena. That's really awesome. I need to go there. Yes. That'd be awesome. Um, the other, as far as like gaming stuff, the other thing I. Uh, I saw, and I thought you would be excited for because you played it more than me. Um, mm. I saw that that what you call it, they're gonna start selling um, a GameCube adapter, and with it is going to come a the GameCube controller for Wii U. Oh wow! So you'll be you know, like you'll be able to to play Super Smash Brothers old school style. Oh, know? that's cool! You know, original style. Um, and I thought that was cool because, like, I remember when we had the regular, uh-huh. the regular, we would, like, connect the old school remote on there. Connect the old school remotes yeah. and... Just... No, I didn't know you can't. Yeah. But no. now they're selling, which may, you know, it's business, right? Now they're selling an adapter with, uh, a, the, the Game, GameCube controller, and it's, like, 50 bucks or something like that, as far as here in the, in, in the U.S., right? It's a little steep. But yeah. then it's a controller, I mean. An adapter. And the and, adapter, so, I guess. And then, of course, you know, people would want it, because they'll be yeah, like, oh, heck yeah. It's going to be a hot item. Yeah. Are you ever going to get Super Smash Brothers? I I was thinking about it. It's just that I suck, man. And I feel like everybody makes me look bad. There's only, like, three buttons to press on it isn't there you know what i haven't played super smash brothers since like nintendo Don't be talking six- crap since like nintendo 64 because i beat you every time when we go to disneyland and we get on the buzz Lightyear ride that's because you're on the side closer to the targets okay then you know what the next gun. challenge when we go i'm gonna sit on the other side no no last so you're not complaining no last time we went to disneyland no, i no. beat you i let you i Beat you. Because you always complain and cry. I got almost a 300,000 score yeah. on it. And it's you called had doing like, this. You had a 280,000 score. Whatever. No, I saw you were really trying. I saw I saw you lining up with the targets like pew, 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 pew. All right, that you know what? was going so fast. It's a challenge. Okay, it's Watch. a challenge. And we're going to post it on there. We're going to post it on uh, Twitter. Yeah. The next time that we go, we'll post the score. Yeah, score. <laughs> yeah, the score. <laughs> it's on to the break of dawn. Anywho. It's on like dawn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this week, uh-huh. there was a special birthday. Ooh, whose birthday was it? George Lucas. Oh. 
he he had a birthday this week. That's awesome. I was that is think. awesome. I would I would so I would be so happy to meet him and shake his hand. And I'll <laughs> yeah, be like, right. thank you for Indiana Jones, and thank you for Star Wars. <laughs> Stop. I can't even say st- Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> oh man, it, yeah, I'd probably shed a tear. Dude, that would be so awesome to meet him. Heck yeah, in person. I'd be like, can you give me some free stuff? <laughs> free? That's the first thing you're thinking of. I'd be like, Shh. dude, give me a lightsaber and a, an original. No, I'd be like, I'd be like, can I take some pictures with you? And like he'd be like, yeah, sure. And he'll go for like the regular picture, you know, like arm around the shoulder and stuff. I'm like, no, dude, here's my lightsaber. Can you like pretend you're cutting off my head or something, or like knighting me or something, like some cool, some crazy? <laughs> okay, I, I I want an original lightsaber. <laughs> an original lightsaber. <laughs> Turn it on. Shoo. <laughs> 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 Okay, sorry. I thought you want to say it was my birthday, but that was a week ago. It's not important no more. It's, like it's my birthday month. That's like so May last week. is the best month. No, ever. it's not. July is. July. July is the best month. Look, it's so. It's, it's the best month. It's so the best that even they have fireworks on that month. Okay? In the beginning of the month, just to celebrate the fact that it's July. No, you know what? May is so awesome. Not only do we get the summer. We are the summer. No, no, no. Listen to this. Not only do we get summer in May, but we also get winter. It's raining today. Hello. Not only that. It's spring. You, technically, it's spring. <laughs> but how is the weather acting? The weather is t- today. Spring. Today the weather's acting like it's winter. It's all no, it's dark. Not. It was dark and gloomy today. It's and acting it was pouring like it was supposed rain. to last month. April showers. Yeah, but we're in May now. Well, okay, I'm, I'm saying so that, that's spring. No, I'm saying so May. So you're, is you're, the best you're month. confused. And that, that's because is, you were born in May. Spring is the best month. Summer. No, spring. And spring is not a month, it's a season. You know what I mean? May <laughs> is the best month because it's spring. See, and you see, know what? that's what happens with May babies, okay? No, you know what? <laughs> we get fireworks Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Disneyland. You're stupid. Well, in July. Let's, let's go back to the topic. Okay? Let's go back to the topic. <laughs> wow. Anywho. So, they're saying, I don't know if it already has. But as the time that I read this, they're saying that Avengers Age of Ultron Mm -hmm. is set to pass the one billion dollar mark. Can you do that again, but say it like Austin Power? One million (laughs) dollars. No, yeah, they're saying that um, it's set to surpass the one billion dollar mark. That's crazy. I don't know if it already has, but when I was reading this, that's what it was on. It that's was like, crazy. Dude, that's a lot of movies. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of people with like mixed reviews on it. Some people are like, this is the best ever. And they watch it like three times. And then other people watch it once and they're like, eh. It's the third movie for a reason. I liked it. Uh, I liked it too. My opinion know, is, I liked it. I, I, I enjoyed watching it. I laughed. Would I watch it again? Yes. I would. I would watch it again. And, right. if, and if I had a son, I would buy him the movies. So far, they've been good. And it was funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. They usually are. What cracked me up the most was a Jimmy Fallon Hawkeye YouTube video. When he sung. <laughs> oh. That was hilarious. He pulled out socks. I got socks. I got waterproof socks. <laughs> Anyways, what are yeah, we talking you know, about? What are you drinking over there? Are you drinking something, man? Like you're you're on one today. I drink the Kool Aid, guys. <laughs> no, I think it's because you got older. Now you now you're like I'm, an I'm, old man. No, I'm know? wiser. Oh please, 
Anywho. <laughs> so, when I was scrolling through my Twitter, I saw that it was, it was hilarious. I saw that joystick retweeted from some, from um, some link. And then the thing was um, seven times Kanye West dressed like a fan, a Final Fantasy character. <laughs> and I was like, what? And so they had the out, like Kanye West, you know, and whatever outfit he was yeah. wearing, and then in, in comparison next to him, the the character side by side yeah. photos. And so I was like watching all the photos, mm-hmm. and I was laughing. That is and because so some of the stuff too, I was like, "What the heck was he thinking?" Yeah, when he was wearing this, and but yeah, it was hilarious. Some of them were like, "Eh, whatever," but then the ones that like threw me off, like you would have to go see the photos. Yeah, you know, I don't know definitely. if you're following Joystick, but you yeah. need to go see their their tweets. Yeah. and it it was it was hilarious. It was funny. I thought the the link you were talking about that's on their new website. Whatever's man. Joystick got uh they got they went bankrupt or something, the the company shut down. But um Joystick, their Twitter account and everything transferred over to a new uh website and pretty much all the same writers are on that new website, so yeah. Just thought that was worth mentioning too. Right. Do you have any other gaming news? Not gaming. Because I have one Go ahead. more um, have you guys heard about um, the Ratchet and Clank PlayStation 4 game? No. no? Okay. Tell well, me about it. I said you guys, but it's, it's only Madam like, Eve right now. I know. Like, She's who like else is, who looking else is around the room like, like Aw, you miss Madam Dee Dee. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you want to play the smallest violin? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, um,. The release date has been pushed back to 2016 because the movie, the Ratchet and Clank full featured film, is going to be released in 2016. Did you know they were going to have a Ratchet and Clank movie no. in the movie theaters? That's like, very interesting. It is legit. You want to know who's on the voice actor so far that's confirmed mm. as of this moment? Mm. John Goodman. What? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I freaking loved him in the Flintstones. <laughs> wow. And Sylvester Stallone. What? Are you kidding I'm me? I'm not even kidding you. Oh, wow. He's he's probably going to be like a bad guy or something. Or like, he's going to be like uh, a big dude, a big character. Um... There, there's other actors listed in there too, but those are the two big ones that that I knew you would know. And um, the the voice actors aren't confirmed. They're they're confirmed to be in the movie. They're just not confirmed as to who's going to play what character. Mm-hmm. And uh, nobody really knows right now who's going to be Ratchet. Um, <laughs> that kind of set up funny though, because Ratchet is now a different word. <laughs> No. Then from when um, Ratchet and Clank first came out. It was so funny because I was talking to a friend and I was like, dude, have you played Ratchet and Clank? He's like, bro, the heck are you talking about? What's Clank? And I'm like, Ratchet and Clank, you know, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 games. He's like, there's a game called Ratchet? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I'm like, wow. are you kidding me? You don't know ratchet and clank <clears throat> he's like no i just know where ratchet is like a um, girl. i hope you unfriend him yeah i did that's disappointing he's banned from my country <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who ratchet and clank is you must be a freaking xbox fan yep anyways that is it for me do you have any other news um well i don't know if you watched it but i did the, the Jurassic Park um, Lego game trailer. I have trailer. not seen that yet. No. Okay. The ending part. Uh-huh. And and this is like a, oh, Madam Dee Dee should have been here. Because she was the one that, that was, that mentioned hoping that they mm-hmm. would do this. You get to play 
as a dinosaur. What? I have a couple of dinosaurs you can play as. That is awesome. I'm gonna be like eating everything up. <laughs> I'm gonna be biting, biting I thought that creatures' was butts. Out. Like the 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 rest of the trailer. Of course, I was happy because I was like, "Oh my god, it's super cute! Mm-hmm. I love this game." You know, and I want to get it. And then, but then the the last part they showed where you can play as a dinosaur, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's all Madam Didi right there!" Because that's what she said. That's what yeah. she mentioned. Like, I hope you can play as a you know. Yeah. Oh, she did say that yeah. on a couple of podcasts back. Yeah. It's like, I hope you can play as a dinosaur. I would love it. Yeah, so there. She got her wish came true. Her wish came true. Now her other wish of getting a PlayStation 4 needs to come true. Yeah, anybody want to donate to the DD Foundation? DD Foundation? Link in the description. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The other trailer that I saw and and again, I was like, Madam Didi, you know, because that's her, her thing. Cause she's um she's this character, Supergirl. Oh yeah. For the the TV series. Uh huh. Okay, I would admit that in the beginning when they mentioned it, I was kind of like, ah, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I felt like they were gonna like make it stupid and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, annoying. But I actually I watched the trailer, and I'm actually excited for it. I thought it was good. Yeah. You know, like I it I, it looks like something I would want to watch. I'll have to watch the trailer now, because to be completely honest, I saw it on the YouTube homepage, mm-hmm. and I'm like, uh, skip. Yeah, you know. Because I was the- like, I don't know if I want to watch Spend it. <clears throat> yeah, so, that, I think that's kind of how I felt, it was just kind of like, you know, like, I, they're, they've, they've been doing so many, like, different ones, and I'm kind of like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like, okay, over it already. <clears throat> And so I was actually, not, I was about to not even give it the time of day, but then I was like, okay, you know, I'll watch it because um, Dee Dee was the one that had mentioned it. Yeah. And so I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, this actually looks like, it's, like it'll be a, a, a pretty good show. So I am going to give it a chance. Cool. And if you guys haven't seen the trailer, I would suggest you watch it and then, you know, you guys write your opinions on it. Um, so... As far as that's with that. Okay. I have one last thing. And when I read this, when I read the, the little the article title, I was like, what? So, apparently, Johnny Depp, mm-hmm. um, you know how he's um, in Australia filming for Pirates? Right. Okay. So, the, the article title... It, I don't. I'm not. I, I don't remember word for word, but I'm just gonna like give you the gist of it. Uh-huh. It was basically saying that Johnny Depp has to um, send his his dogs back to the U.S. or else Australia will execute him. What? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and he did. He had to send his dogs. So apparently, Johnny Depp. Um, Oh, some money? Took his, no, took his dogs with him mm-hmm. to Australia without proper permit permission. Oh. And so Australia was like, no, you better take them or else we're going to euthanize them. Wow. Yeah. And that, and Australia from what is I, hardcore. Yeah, and from what dude. I read was that they weren't going to give him no special privileges just because he's an actor. Wow. Yeah. And so he had to... Send his dogs off on his private jet That's back insane. to to LA, back here, and stuff. Well, they flew in a private jet, so hey. Yeah, and so they were like, "Oh, you know, they're like, they're like, I guess you say speculating, but whatever." Mm-hmm. But they were trying to say like, "Oh, see, he was just trying to sneak them in without, without you know, doing it properly, you know, blah blah blah." And, you know, you know uh, how it gets all dramatic and, and stuff. Whatever, you know. Media blows because things up on purpose. Their thing was, like, you need to make sure you have the proper permits because they don't want certain diseases or things to come into their country and blah, 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 and whatever. Wow. So, yeah. So, he's from Australia or he lives there now? No, he's filming. Oh, filming. Yeah, filming. Sorry. He's there filming. I heard that in the beginning. For pirates. But yeah, 
That's all I have. I just thought that was very interesting. I was like, wow, harsh. We're going to uh, kill your dog. We're going to kill your dog or you take him back. How many dogs did he have? Two. Two what? Yorkshire Terriers. Yorkshire Terriers? Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed, Johnny Depp. I thought he was going to have some, like, pit bulls or, like, something. Oh. Well, you know, it's him and his, his wifey, so. Do you have any other any other things, topics? No, nope, that's to all I about? have. That's what I said. That's all oh, okay, I have. Cool. I don't have anything else. I said that. All right. So I guess that will conclude this episode of Game On Podcast. Woo-hoo! Thank you guys. Woo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining so us. That means I could eat my Twix now. Well, the mic's still on. Come oh, on. Man. I asked you, but I've been like staring at it this whole time, and I'm like, I can't. Well, now I'm doing it crap. Okay. So, thank you again so much for joining us. Let us know what you guys think about it in the comments section below. Your comments, uh, questions, concerns, whatever you guys might have, let us know in the comments section below. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps this video out. Um, and I will see you guys. Hey, that's not right. <laughs> this ain't monkey flop. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to end okay, this. Okay, yeah, because I'm in too yeah, much of a routine. Oh, my God. What are you drinking? I told you Seriously, I drank the Kool-Aid. Man, well, now you're, you're e- now you're eating my melted Twix. Huh? This is my Twix. Okay? I left. And you, yeah, you left it in the car. And then it got all nasty and melted. I'm kind of still eating it. It it merged into like it was two Twix. It merged into one, oh, cool. and then half of the chocolate melted off of part of it. So now, like the crunchy part looks like a dog biscuit. No oh, god. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, thank you for listening. <laughs> you know, yeah. Do write your comments down. You know, let us know what you guys think. Um, if there's anything that you think we should look at or look into and find out, let us know. Um, thank you for your questions. We appreciate them. We appreciate you guys listening to us and our madness and, you know, Monkey Flop over here drinking some type of Kool-Aid or something. I don't know what he's on today. <laughs> but you know what? Till then, game on.